In the midst of a jury has sentenced Jason McKnight to 27 and a half years in prison. A jury convicted him in the 2020 death of bicyclist Edward Stedman IV. Police say McKnight fled the scene after hitting Stedman. McKnight thought he had hit a trash can, at least that's what he told the jury. He was found guilty of failing to stop and render aid, but got the longer sentence because he's a repeat offender. Actress Anne Hesch died this afternoon after suffering from massive brain injuries following a car crash a week ago. According to her family, Hesch was being kept on life support to determine if her organs were viable for donation. In the message, her family and friends also paid tribute to Hesch's huge heart and generous spirit. Salman Rushdie is on a ventilator tonight after being stabbed in the neck while on stage in Western New York. A suspect storming the stage as Rushdie was being introduced for a lecture at the famed Chautauqua Institution, not too far from Buffalo. He had to be flown to a hospital in Erie, Pennsylvania. Rushdie's book, The Satanic Verses, has been banned in Iran since 1988. A year later, Iran's former leader called for Rushdie's death. The country had even offered a $3 million reward for anyone who killed him. The suspected attacker there in western New York is in custody. Here at home, construction for the Shoreline Restoration Project has started. This is exciting stuff at the beach. Workers have started moving the sand to try to widen the beach and build back the dunes between High Island and Searam State Park. They've been pretty much damaged since Rita. This is a more than $200 million state-funded project, the money coming largely from the BP oil spill. Tomorrow